What's good guys, it's your boy AB. I'm gonna show you four proteins I eat on the daily when I'm trying to cut up, all right? So if you guys are asking me what to eat, eat some of this protein. Got sardines, oh, damn. Ground turkey, and of course, chicken breasts. And last but not least, steak, all right? So these are all the four top proteins I go to. Um, I eat on the daily, but I'm going to show you how to cook today because most of you guys probably already know this stuff, but you guys don't know how to cook it. So I'm going to show you guys how to cook chicken breasts. So we got some regular chicken breasts right here. What I like to do, because it's kind of gunky, left it out all day. I like to rinse it out. Place it on here. Mm -hmm. And people think of chicken breasts. They'd be like, ugh, it's nasty, right? That's what people think because they don't know how to cook it. It's all about how you cook it. You can eat good, make the food taste good, and still lose weight. If, if the food didn't taste good, I would not want to cut at all. Or bulk. I love food, so let's put some love in our food. Got the chicken in here. First seasoning I'm going to put on as paprika, all right? Just a little bit. Mm-hmm. It's about good. I like all my food spicy. If you guys don't know, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram so you guys can see all my recipes. But you guys know in every recipe I use, I use cayenne pepper, baby. Mm -hmm. Now I like my food really spicy, so I make sure I add a lot of this. And what I do is I go ahead and mix it around, stir it around. Now, usually chicken breasts come as a whole, but I bought sliced chicken breast so I didn't have to cut it up. And so when you do, when you guys do cut your chicken breast up, you guys wanna make sure the slices are even so it cooks properly. So I'm gonna add more pepper. Then I'm gonna add some turmeric. If you guys don't know nothing about turmeric, a lot of people take turmeric as a supplement because there's so many benefits in turmeric. Add turmeric and it tastes good. So add a little bit. Now this is what makes the chicken taste amazing, is chipotle chili. This is a must. I'll put this on popcorn. Put that in there. And there's your chicken breast. Then I'm gonna put this bad boy, let it cook on medium heat for about 15 minutes. Maybe add a little onions to it. You can add a little bit of green peppers. Mm -hmm. Add a little onions. After about four minutes of cooking, just a little bit of onions, let it cook in there. Mix it around. Yeah. I don't like my meat really burnt, so um, I'm gonna cook it well enough so it's eatable. But I don't want it burnt. All right, guys, so we got the finishing touches. Got a cup of ja uh, jasmine rice, about a half a cup of chicken. Mm -hmm. Finish it off with a little parsley. Bon appetit. There it is. You meal prep this, you got about four to five meals, depending if you're cutting or if you're bulking. Like I said, when I do eat chicken, so I'll probably eat two chicken meals throughout the day and I'll switch it up from ground turkey, some steak, you know. Mix it up, variety. Variety makes you want to stay more consistent with your diet. Um, or with your food plan. If you're trying to bulk, if you're trying to cut, it just helps you stay more accountable if you have more variety. Sign up for my training, Anthony. Link in the description. I'm about to eat this and I'm about to go do some cardio. Mm -hmm. All right, it's going. Good? Mm hmm Thirty minutes of cardio. I try, I try to fast in the morning. I do cardio, but if not, if I don't get in get it in in the morning, I gotta do that night. Right now it's it's almost eleven o'clock right now, and I came down here and I decided to do cardio. I was gonna sit down and watch Netflix or do something like that, but I had to ask myself. Is this really going to help me get to where I need to be? 
So if your goal is to lose weight, if your goal is to get shredded, if your goal is to gain muscle, you, start, you gotta start asking yourself and telling yourself what to do. Like my analogy, always with the baby. If you were to babysit your little brother or your little sister, how would you watch them? You would make sure they're not playing with the knives, they're not doing something they're not supposed to be doing. You have to watch yourself like you were to watch that little baby. Most people can't. They don't know how to watch themselves like that. It's all about conditioning yourself, talking to yourself. I was talking to a client earlier. I had told him something I did to keep me consistent as far as like what I want to do and how I want to do it. And he said he has this old couch. He doesn't want to buy a new couch because he doesn't want to get comfortable. Mm. And when I heard that, I was like, damn, every day we grow. If we didn't grow every day, we'll still be wearing diapers. As humans, we are made to grow. So in every aspect, I'm talking mentally, physically, financially, we are made to grow. Why just sit there? I don't think God gave us life to just settle and sit there. If we did, like I said, we'll be wearing diapers all day. As humans, we are made to grow. So think about that when you go to sleep. Think about that when you wake up. Growth. How do you grow? It doesn't have to be anything financially right now. It could be something small. It could be doing one push-up a day. That's growth. It all starts at one, though. One. That's it. It's your boy AB. Like and subscribe. Hope you guys like the recipe today. Got more videos on the way. Follow me on Instagram. Got more content coming. And yeah, it's time to get shredded. Mmm. No.